Hey there, bloomers and friends. It's uh, Rev Kev and Jim Nixon, who I'll introduce in just a minute. Uh, coming to you from uh, my office here. We're, we're basically together after uh, Bloom Bible Bites tonight, where, you know, there's a lot of new things starting at Bloom. We're in a whole time of, of things happening for the first time, things starting anew, uh, that sort of a season. Uh, we had our annual meeting on uh, Sunday, and so a new budget went into effect, a new slate of officers went into effect, some people are continuing on, but there's several new people, and uh, we are just basically in that time of newness and getting things going. Um, even from a standpoint of how things are going on at Bloom, tonight at Bible Bites we started a new book, uh, First Kings, and we're learning about all the intrigue and and uh, the development of the leadership in Israel and, and uh, how that uh, happened. You would think we were watching uh, Showtime or HBO uh, special uh, series uh, with all of the intrigue and this one getting that one and people consolidating their power and all of this. Uh, and so it is very interesting when uh, we're doing that. And start, so starting the new book, it's an opportunity for folks who haven't come to Bible Bites before to start with us at the beginning of a book and and uh, you know go through it with us on Wednesday nights from uh, 6.30 until about quarter to 8. Uh, then on, on Sunday, or I mean on Wednesday mornings, Wednesday's a big day around the Bloom office, on Wednesday mornings we have the book reading group and today we started a new book uh, which was just a runaway bestseller, a very hot book couple of years ago. It continues to be very popular and people enjoy it and talk about it. It's called The Shack and I'm not going to tell you a lot about the story but I just know that it's a, uh, a fictional book that helps people, not helps, well, gives an opportunity for people to consider other ways to uh, think about God. So if you uh, want to come down on Wednesday morning at uh, 10 o'clock from 10 until 11.15 we read a chapter or two and talk about it and spend time together and it's always a very nice time. You're welcome. It's an open group. You can come anytime, but we're very happy to uh, welcome folks to be with us and we're basically reading this as a part of our uh, Reverend Dr. Terry Lennon Memorial Library collection, uh, which has a wide variety of books and The Shack is, uh, is, is just one of that wide variety. And then we have a new treasurer, and that is our guy Jim here, who has been faithfully sitting and, and uh, watching while I rattle on. Uh, Jim is elected treasurer. We're, our, our dear, wonderful Woody Miller has been treasurer. Actually, he, uh, if you remember, some might remember that we had to suspend the rules for a year, uh, and Woody continued on for a fourth year as treasurer. Uh, that uh, came to an end at this last meeting, and and uh, Jim was a part of the slate that was that was elected. Jim has a background in finance from the Bay Area. Why don't you tell us about just uh, two or three sentences about your background in accounting? Uh, accounting is all I've ever done since I got my first job at age 18. And as I told uh, Kevin, this is God's money, and I feel like this is more of a responsibility than managing a multi-billion dollar company. So. I'm grateful we still have Woody around to rely on for some guidance and input. And yeah, I'm your new trusted servant for the, uh, the Treasury. And I'm looking forward to this, this opportunity. So it's good to be with Jim. And what this means, we have a new moderator with uh, Linda Lang, and we'll have an interview with Linda coming up soon in the next couple of weeks. Um, what this means is that we're going to be going through a time of transition and learning that will be a time of deepening and growth for our congregation. Folks will learn um, a new, we will have new ways of doing things as well as we'll be teaching the standard and best practices that we have over the time. Really glad to have Jim on board. He's been very active in the office the last couple of days uh, getting things underway and uh, just like always you can uh, ask him any questions and and uh, he will know all of the answers, never have to worry about asking anybody else uh, about anything. The other aspect is that there is the opportunity for people to be considered to be a part of the group that does the counting of the offering on Sunday mornings after worship. And, uh, you know, it's, it's time for us to put a little bit of a renewal 
uh, on, on that group. We're really grateful for the people who continue and, and help out. If there are others that think that that's something as a part of their personal ministry that they'd be able to help bloom out on, please contact Jim. Uh, that's something that we consider folks for, uh, and there are some qualifications that are needed. So, you know, just talk to Jim and we'll, we'll see how that all can work out. So, uh, here Jim and I are in the office and Russ is behind the camera. Uh, you can see, you can hear from the beep beeps that people are going in and out of the doors. It's a busy place at Bloom in the Desert Ministries. We hope you will be with us this Sunday. Just briefly, you'll note in Bloom Notes that uh, Dick Maul will be our preacher and he's going to be bringing us in uh, a, a, a presentation on Doc Hammarskjöld. And um, uh, uh, much of our liturgy will be from the words of Doc Hammarskjöld. This will be a great opportunity to learn about a great man of faith as well as, you know, basically the person that led the United Nations, um, uh, you know, early on. So, if you can't be with us on Sunday, which we hope you, you will be, but if you can't be there, please keep us in your prayers. We always do you, and we look forward to seeing you the next time.